A pace truck going to pull in off a of turn number three and four. Ladies and gentlemen, a shower a big block power is about to send a shockwave through the Valley of Speed. Lebanon Valley Speedway, let's ride. We're getting up through turn number one and two for the first time. It's going to be super. Matt Shepard with the race lead as they head down the back straightaway. He quickly gets out to about an eighth car length advantage as they come off the corner. Mahaney going to settle into second, later in third as they put lap number one on the board. Field going to work up into turn number one and two. Once again, it's all Shepard in front. He's got about the 10 car lengths, but now we got to battle for the number three spot as they head down the back straightaway as Jack Lehner and the 21A of Peter Britton going to power down into turn number three and four. They'll come by. It'll be two on the board. Here's Britton with a move to the inside of Lehner. They're wheel to wheel off the corner. They'll click off lap number two. It's Lehner with the spot at the line. And we've got a car slowing down in the back stretch. That's Jack Laner. Laner slows down the back straightaway. He will relinquish the number three spot and pull pit side. A tough break for the Ginger Ninja as they come off a of turn number four. And that will give Peter Britton the number three spot as the field starts to work its way down the front straightaway. Car still scrambling for positions. We're eight laps into this feature event. All Matt Shepard still at the front of the field as he's got about 10 car lengths on the 35 of Mike Mahaney. Mike Mahaney closed the gap as close as he's been so far in the middle of the corner, but lost momentum on exit as Britton starts to close the gap on the 35 machine. The top three running through turn number one and two. The Herlock Auto and Speed Supply Car number nine machine with the lead. As you see them down the back straight away now fighting for position. It's Shepard. He's going to come up on the 15 of Adam Pearson. we got a car around in turn number three and four, it looks like. And yellow is going to be out onto the speedway for the first time. So a car spun in turn three and four. I believe that is the 42 of Kyle Sheldon up in between three and four. And that will bring out the caution for the first time with 18 laps complete. Field will work its way through turn number three and four. Keep an eye on Bacchetti, too, who's been following him right up through the field. As green flag is back out onto the speedway, 79 laps to go. We're back underway. Now Peter Britton going to try to make a move for the number two spot. Him and Mahaney side by side as he go up into two. Give the spot to the Batman. Is he going to look to chase Superman down? Peter Britton has taken over the number two running spot. That'll put Mike Mahaney back to third, side to side for fourth. Mark Johnson challenging Tyler Dipple on the restart here. He's got a top five run going now as Mark Johnson continues his march towards the front. Mark Johnson 12th to fourth in the first 22 laps. Andy Bacchetti also looking to crack the top five as he works the bottom of the racing surface behind him. Larry White right there, one spot out of a top five run, but yellow is going to be out as Adam Pearson will come to a stop. Field going to work its way down into turn number three and four. The Hurtlock Auto and Speed Supply. Car number 9S. The 21A of Peter Britton, two is inside. Mahaney and Mark Johnson, row two. Dipple and Bacchetti, row three. Green flag back out onto the speedway. Does Britton have a shot at Shepard as they go into turn number one and two? They'll roar through the corner. Who's going to have the spot? Shepard going to take the advantage. Bacchetti to the bottom on Mark Johnson. Can't make it stick. A little bit of contact off the corner, though, as they head down the back stretch. Mike Mahaney and Peter well, behind Peter Britton and Mark Johnson challenging Mahaney down to the inside here. And on his back bumper is Andy McKinney as they both battle here in a top five. Mark Johnson going to move into that number three spot as he'll make the blast pass on the 35. Mike Mahaney up into turn number one and two as they come off the corner. Johnson gets a little out of shape that time for just a second, but he knows he's out ahead as they're still wheel to wheel as they head into three and four. Mahaney and Johnson side by side as they head down through turn number three and four. That's the battle for the three spot coming out of turn number three and four this time. The 35 car dives to the bottom. He'll take the number three spot away. Mike Mahaney, your new third place man, as they come down the front straight away. So Mahaney getting by Mark Johnson has looked like the handling might be going away on that SNS asphalt paving car number nine machine as they come off a turn number two. Johnson going to try to come back, but not being able to get the 35. Shepard brings it across the flag stand this time. It'll be 36 laps to go, and you have to go all the way back to turn number four. Peter Britton just making his way across. And right now, it's you take a look at Britton through the corner. Time's starting to run out. He's got to get something going as he continues to lose ground to the 9S. Good race for fifth place. Continues hot and heavy off a of turn number two down the back stretch. Andy Bacchetti has got that spot right now. Andy Bacchetti running in fifth. Tyler trouble. Dipple trying to pressure him, and we got trouble on Peter Britton. A tough break for Peter Britton as yellow comes out onto the speedway. Your second place man slows through turn number three and four, and it looks like a right rear flat tire on the 21A machine, and that's going to stop a great run as he is going to come down to his... Pit area down in front. 
So the field's going to come through turn number three and four, and as Tremont deals with the troubles in the pit area, we're going to go back to green flag racing. 30 laps to go. Matt Shepard back in front. We're under green. Matt Shepard going to work at the head of the field. Everybody chasing him on the restart. Mike Mahaney, Andy Bikini making ground. Mahaney to second, Bikini challenging Mark Johnson for third. Johnson on the outside, Bikini down low. They are wheel of wheel, car into the wall up in the west end. Larry White gonna flirt with disaster through turn number three and four and something goes amiss and he gets up into the outside wall and that brings Yellow out onto the speedway once again. Matt Shepard gonna fire through turn number three and four. I'll have Mahaney with him. Green flag back out onto the speedway. 25 laps to go in the King of Spring 100 as Shepard goes to the front. Here's McKinney gonna make a bid for the number two spot. Andy McKinney trying to make a move on Mike Mahaney off of turn number two down the backstretch. Mahaney strong to that challenge, however. Mahaney hangs on to second. McKinney is third. Mark Johnson now dealing with the defending champion of this event, LJ Lombardo. The outlaw cranking it up. Here in the latter stages, getting it into the top five with the 35. LJ Lombardo closing the gap, trying to get by Mark Johnson on the top of the racetrack through turn number one and two. But now Bacchetti going to go for the number two spot as he works to the inside of Mike Mahaney down the back straightaway. Two car lanes separate spots two and three as they head into three and four. Bacchetti going to dive to the bottom. We've seen this so many times on Saturday nights here at Lebanon Valley. That time, though, not able to make the pass as Mahaney holds him off. Still got the battle for the sixth spot as Max McLaughlin slows on the front stretch. That's going to bring Yellow out again here with 12 laps to go. So the interesting thing here, John, 12 laps completed, or 12 laps left in this race. 88 in the books. When we get to lap 90, caution laps will no longer count. Matt Shepard going to refire off a turn number three and four. Green flag back out. Ten laps to go for Super Matt as we go back to green. Matt Shepard back to work up in front, leading the field through the east end. Andy Bacchetti on the restart with Mike McKinney. Mahaney trying to make something happen. Does not do it. Mahaney hangs on to second. Bacchetti there third. Mark Johnson and LJ Lombardo battling for fourth. And a side-to-side -side battle for the back. Jimmy Phelps making a move on Alex Jankowski as he works towards the top five. Jankowski comes back and crosses over as they head down the front stretch. He'll take that number six spot right back from the 98H. It's a good job by both Phelps and Williamson in the back half of the top ten. Really doing a good job staying there. But up front, all Matt Shepard is nine laps to go for car number nine. He'll put 92 on the board this time off by turn number three and four. Off of two this time, Jimmy Phelps able to get by Alex Jankowski. And Kowski going to blast by him again up at the West End. What a war they get going on. These two just outside the top five. Phelps will come back at him and pass him here in front. Phelps going to retake over that sixth spot as they go up into turn number one and two. And he has his eyes on LJ Lombardo. Can he get to the top five before this one's all said and done? Shepard looking to go wire to wire in this one as they go up into turn number one and two. They'll roll the middle of the racing surface. Mahaney on his horse trying to get there. He's not going to make it. For the 90th time in Super Dirt Car Series history, Matt Shepard is going to go to victory lane off a of turn number three and four. For the first time in 2023, Matt Shepard will take the checkered flag. Second will be Mike Mahaney. Coming across the line, third is Andy Bacchetti. Finishing fourth will be Mark Johnson. And rounding out the top five, Jimmy Phelps with another last lap pass to gain valuable points just when he needs it. Uh, you know you're chasing the whole time. I didn't really know where to run. Uh, felt like at times my car was very good. At times I was kind of struggling and uh, just didn't really know where to be and what the fastest groove was. Um, you know, thankfully, we didn't get into a ton of lap traffic. We got into some early, but, you know, later in the race, we got some clean track, and, and that just gave me an opportunity to just not make any mistakes and try and hold these guys off behind me. Uh, I knew after the heat race, my crew chief said he was actually pretty impressed with the car, so, uh, you know, that made me feel a little bit better. We came out here, we drew the number one spot. That was huge, uh, and we... We did what we needed to do and held on for all 100 laps. Ugh, just having a good driving race car and, uh, and a good redraw. Um, that was probably definitely the difference. Uh, I definitely don't think we were good enough to drive through the field. Like, uh, you know, Andy and Mark Johnson and guys that ran here every week. But, you know, uh, myself, Mike Mahaney, we, we, we held on for 100 laps, and luckily I was able to hold them off. We're always looking forward to Oswego, but we got a lot of races this summer, so we're going to concentrate on the next one. Um, enjoy this win tonight. This was definitely a big win for us. We struggled a little bit this weekend. Uh, rebounded, had a good run last night, but to get back here in victory lane feels good. Um, got to say hi to Jordan at home. Uh, she couldn't make it tonight, but, man, I'm excited.